This is literally falling apart. <laughs> Hate that for me. Hi my loves, it's Amaya. So today's video, it's a get ready with me. You know, it's been a while since I did one of these. All my past videos have been like a lot of hair content. I feel like we're over it. So I'm pushing out some different content because I'm over hair content too. Um, excuse the stain, you know, makeup. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, I will have everything in the description box down below, okay? Everything that I use for my face. So, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm using Desert Beige and Coco because neither of these are my shades. So, you just have to mix and match. And I recently fell back in love with this foundation just because it's just so pretty and natural it's gorgeous like it smells weird but it the finish the finish it's everything you can want in a foundation for real now i'm going with the elf ultimate blending brush and it's just this is a wonderful brush like literally the best brush i've ever used for blending out any cream products is just so good. So I'm just gonna start blending that out and then I'm gonna talk and I won't be talking about my makeup no more. So yeah, so the past few videos have been like hair videos because um, it's all I had energy for and it's all I could really do. Like I filmed a makeup video, like a get ready with me, but then I wasn't sure about how I felt about it. So I scrapped it and then everything else was just hair videos because that's what I had time for like I had the I had a little bit of energy left in me for a hair video and like for the most part when I did most of those hair videos it was like mid December mid to late December so it was all like pre-filmed basically and this is going up this is either going up tomorrow or on Tuesday so We'll see how I feel about the editing and stuff. So yeah, so basically what happened was is early December, I caught it. It caught me. Rona caught me. So I was quarantining in my house for the 14-ish days that they told me to. And I just didn't feel like the best, you know? And like my whole, basically my whole family had it. But like we're we're better now obviously i think the lord like it wasn't fun um it wasn't like the worst experience for the most part it just felt like i was sick but um i did lose my taste and my smell my sense of taste and smell so that wasn't fun and what else yeah that was about it and it was just like not fun doing that whole wearing masks in the house and stuff so don't recommend at all so like stay safe and stuff um but yeah so i didn't really have the energy to film and everything and like the videos i did film like i filmed one video while i had it and that's when i had my curled hair and the red lips and i i hated how that video turned out like i absolutely hated it um so I could not post that one but the other one that I did I just didn't really like what I was talking about and stuff like I wasn't sure how I felt about it yet so I didn't post it and then I couldn't post it because it was too by the time I decided it was like too late to post so I just hung it up but yeah so now I'm just like I'm out of school now I am still looking for a co-op job <laughs> love that for me and I'm just enjoying my winter break because I basically have like it's basically like a month off like i got out of school december 18th and i don't go back to school till january 18th so that's nice and i'm i'm taking two courses during this work term that i'm supposed to have i'm taking what am i taking and where's my concealer 
integrals and then I'm taking uh I think it's philosophy of religion because I'm like really into religion and like I love talking about it so I'm hoping that it kind of like broadens how I feel about it and stuff like I think it's such an interesting topic to talk about so yeah I'm just I hope it's just not too much work because then I'll be really upset because this is supposed to be my <laughs> my chill term you know like it's supposed to be a work term and i'm also like looking for jobs and stuff but it's hard out here like it's not easy looking for a job you know especially during co-op so or especially during corona i meant so that's what that's what's happening in my life right now so i've been watching the real housewives of potomac <laughs> do not because on Twitter, all I saw was people watching it and it just looks so good. So I got that 30 day free trial for Hey You on Amazon Prime. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna have to finish all six, seven seasons in these 30 days because I, I need to be caught up. Like I wanna be part of the conversation. Like I wanna understand what the girls are saying. So I got it, I'm on season three right now and I'm almost done season three. So I'm kind of upset that Sharice decided to leave because I wanted to know more about like what was going on with her and I forget his name. I forget her now ex-husband's name. I wanted to know more about them, but then she left and like, I guess she just didn't want people in her business and stuff, which is understandable, I guess kind of. But like, I'm glad that she's still kind of in the mix because then you know we can still kind of know a little bit of stuff but like you can tell she's not like saying nothing on camera like she's very to herself like she's not starting no arguments this season uh what what did i want to do let me go with my eyeshadow so far i actually really like like before before season three i really liked giselle now I'm not sure how I feel about her because she just be like, I feel like she just lies for like no reason, you know, like she didn't have to. Like when they went on the trip to France and Giselle told Robin that like the girls like didn't even want to wait for her and they left without her. Like she didn't have to lie about, she didn't have to lie about that. She could have just told Robin that like, yeah, yo, I just want to like spend some time with you, bro. <laughs> period it didn't need to be that serious and then she got caught in her lie like for what reason literally makes no sense to me but also karen like i'm so confused on what's happening with karen and if she's like still with ray if she's living somewhere else like i'm almost at the episode where they go like to her house and they give her pizza like i'm almost there but i'm not there yet like i'm like, I think that's my next episode. So I'm excited to see, like, what they figure out from there. Because I just want to... I'm I'm so confused on where Karen is living. I'm so confused about why Karen is being so secretive. Like, it's probably because her husband is dealing with all those tax issues and stuff. And I feel like that would make sense. Because I feel like in the other... Like, in the last two seasons, she was a lot more open and stuff with things. Like, she's always been a little secretive you know but like she's never been this secretive like even when Giselle asked her about her perfume and stuff she was like oh how's your brand coming on like you could have just said that you weren't comfortable with that like Giselle wasn't throwing, throwing no shade and that's why I don't like Karen like Karen just be like if there's someone who lies for no reason it's definitely Karen like she lies for literally no reason and then so far I'm liking Monique I feel like out of all the girls, I don't really like Candace because I feel like she's just, she's just a little too extra for my taste. Like she seems fun and she seems cool and stuff, but like she's just, <laughs> like she just does too much for no reason. Like her poor fiance, Chris, Chris is his name. Like why she call him that he's gonna be a dead like he's a deadbeat just like his father like girl you did not have to go there and he called you a princess like 
okay anyway so yeah i don't really like um what's her name candace uh, i like monique i do i think she's super she's super cute she's super fun super like she's a different feeling i feel like her wigs always look really good like her hair is always looking really good um i'm really tired of robin like you know what season three really changed my perspective on robin because she is a little bit more messy and i didn't notice that until i was watching Aaliyah's faces live and she was saying how like robin was really boring the first two seasons and then she got like she picked it up the third season and yeah robin is a lot more messy this season but before i didn't like her because i just wanted her to like hang it up with juan because why is she still with him literally for what reason because it's not like he's doing nothing for her he literally said that if it wasn't for the kids he would be gone like it's just so much that he said and she's just there defending him, defending him, defending him. When he don't even like her like that, it really makes absolutely no sense to me. But then season three came around and I feel like they're a lot better. Like they're definitely in a better place, especially since they saw that medium. Like, like Juan seems like he wants to actually be with her and like that she's not a burden, especially since like Juan's mom said that she really likes the two of them together and whatever, like through the medium and stuff. So I'm very happy for Robin in that regard because she's clearly still head over heels in love with this man. And that's all he needed. All he needed was a little push from his mama, okay? So I'm very glad that they're like happier, I guess, because I feel like that's just what Robin deserves. Like she is such, I feel like she's just such a good woman and he just wasn't doing what a good man should for her. Like he was really holding her back. But now I feel like he's doing what he should as a father. Yeah, and then who else is there? It's Robin, it's Candace, it's Sharice. Robin, Candace, Sharice, um, Karen, Monique, and Giselle. Robin, Karen, Monique, and so far I think my favorite person, I already said this, but I think it, it would have to be um, either Monique or Giselle because I don't know, I just feel like they both are just so real and it's a shame that they don't really, or like Giselle doesn't really like Monique like that because I really like the both of them in their own ways. Like I feel like Giselle, like I said, she'd be lying for like no reason, but not as much as Karen. This is literally falling apart. <laughs> Hate that for me. So <laughs> my sister Kalia, she got me Mac Fix Plus and God bless her because she knew, like she just knew that this is what I wanted. How, how does this work? No, that's locked. Oh, here we go. She knew that this is what I wanted. Like she got this for Christmas. She got this for me for Christmas. And she just knew that this is what I wanted because I've talked about it so much. And that's how you know, that's how you know she's a listener. Like that's on period. <laughs> I was so excited when I got this. I'm gonna do my lips and then I'm gonna go off camera and do my lashes. Cause I think I'm gonna put on some eyelashes today. I'm just in that kind of mood you know those cute okay i'm gonna go put on some lashes and then girl i'll be right back we're just gonna have to edit this out like this we're gonna edit it out of the thumbnail you guys are just gonna have to deal with this because <laughs> girl okay period if my eyes look a little red it's because i was messing with my eyelashes and i it's like the sniffles now you know you know those but I just feel like my makeup has like every time I do it, it just looks better and better. And I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm pissed that I can't go out. Like, are you are you kidding me? It's always I find that whenever I do my makeup for fun, that's when my makeup wants to look good. And then when I actually have somewhere to go and it's like important and I need to like see people, that's when my makeup turns out like trash. Like I just don't understand. I'm <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
uh, comment down below any video ideas or any videos that you would like to see from me and make sure that you hit the notification bell to see whenever I upload and I'm pretty sure that's it I think that's all like the like the self promo stuff that I'm supposed to do as a youtuber or whatever so I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you guys in the next one